In this video, I'm gonna list my top VS Code extensions. Before we start, comment your favorite VS Code extensions. To install extensions, you can get to the extensions tab from the left menu and you can search for the extensions you want to install. Firstly, let's talk about why you even need extensions. VS Code is great out of the box, but you might want to change the look of your code editor or get things that will help you build a more productive environment. And that's where extensions come in. You can find all types of extensions from making your VS Code looking pretty to technical and productivity extensions. And here are my VS Code extensions. Starting off the list, we've got Prettier. Prettier is a code formatter which makes your code look pretty. There are lots of configuration options, so you can make your code the way you want it to look without spending lots of time trying to format it manually. It supports JS, TypeScript, CSS, HTML and lots of frameworks. After you install it, you should enable the Format on Save setting, so it can format your code each time you hit save. And don't forget to choose it as the default formatter, so it works. Next on the list we got LiveServer. In my opinion, LiveServer is a must-have extension if you are a web developer. As the name of the extension says, it opens up a live server when you click the go live button down here. It opens up a web browser so you can see the changes you made on your code. It saves you lots of time because with this extension, you don't need to close your HTML file and open it up again each time you make a change on your code. You just need to hit save and it updates the page automatically. Another extension I want to talk about is auto rename tag. It saves you a lot of time when you're working with HTML. When you want to change a tag's name, you just need to change one of them. This extension updates the name of the other tag quickly. Without losing any time, we're jumping to the next extension, which is auto close tag. This extension is very simple yet so effective on the workflow. What it does is, it just closes the tag we've just opened like in Sublime Text or other code editors. It closes the tag and leaves your cursor in the middle of the tag so you can start writing your stuff without losing any time. And yes, I think you should have this one too if you're a web developer. For the icons, I'm using Material Icon Team. These are the icons that will show up in your folder view. This is a non-essential extension. It's personal preference. If you want it, you can install it by searching Material Icon Team in the Extensions tab. Next extension is HTML CSS Support. This adds class completion to HTML. When you make a CSS class, you can start typing the name of the class in HTML and the class will show up as a suggestion. So you can just hit enter and complete your class name. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel.